Well, ladies, thanks so much for joining me. Let's start by talking about this ministry in North Georgia, Restore 634. Tell us where that comes from. Um, well, we had gone into the Walker County Jail and it did Bible study. Uh, the church that we attend, uh, several women that we that we attend would go to do Bible study. And uh, as we were doing the Bible study, um, just seeing the recidivism rate and seeing the ladies with a heart that they wanted, you could tell that they wanted to do, to do different. Their hearts were breaking because they were away from their children and their families. And then it was that they didn't know how to get out of the cycle. And a lot of them didn't have a safe place to land when they got out of jail. And the church seemed to be struggling with knowing even how to come alongside of them. So one day in Bible study, uh, I was reading in Mark chapter six, verse 34, and Jesus uh, had traveled, got out of the boat, and there was a large crowd there. And the Bible tells us that he was moved with compassion in that verse. It said he was moved with compassion. So he began teaching them many things. They were like sheep without a shepherd. And so he began teaching them many things. And uh, just the Holy Spirit spoke to me and let me know this is about teaching that if, if they know better, they're going to do better and they have to have resources and that it was time for me to quit just going in and telling them about it. But I needed to get actually come alongside of them and show them. So um, we were able to pray about it and through lots of work and effort and support, we were able to purchase a home. Uh, on eight acres and we have women that come in and from the community from all over it's not just one church it's an interdenominational ministry uh, where women come along and teach life skills parenting anger management um, cooking we do cooking we have um, gardening classes um, can you help me think of well, something that a lot of us probably take for granted and let me bring uh, you into this conversation Sasha tell us about your story um I have been in and out of jail for like the last eight or 10 years. And uh, about the last five, I really wanted different, but I, I didn't have, I don't really have any, my family's really broken. Um, I didn't have any support. I had burned a lot of bridges. So I knew where I was at and where I wanted to be. I just didn't know the steps in between. And then, um, I met Miss Donna and she took a step out and let me come here. So it's teaching me the necessary things, even down to grocery list. It's something that people take for granted that I didn't even know how to do. So tell me about how this program has changed your life, Restore 634, and made a difference for you to try to get your, put the pieces of your life back together and get back on track. It's, well, first, when I got here, I had got saved. Um, I had really lost hope when my daughter had passed away, and I um, I couldn't find myself. And I have a whole support system here, and just somebody that will believe in you and that will care enough about you to help you and hold your hand and walk you through and even correct you when you're doing wrong. Um, it's changed my life. I'll ne I won't ever be able to step back. When I do step back into the jail, it's going to be to help them. Um, it's really a very needed thing in, in North Georgia. It's a very great program. So you feel it's giving you the tools that you need so you don't slip back into that recidivism and end up back in jail on the wrong side or doing mm -hmm. the wrong thing. But now you are able to say, this is what I need to do and I can do it and stay out of trouble and stay on that path. That's not always easy, but I can stay on that path to stay out of trouble and to continue going forward and improve my life. Oh yes, ma'am. And I, I feel like um, a lot of times the jail don't see that there's a lot of women in there that, that this is all they need is just a place where they can come and somebody to care enough to help them be the person or help it bring it out. And that's what Restore is doing. Donna, let me ask you, so how do women um, get in this program? Um, do you all go over there? Do you ask for suggestions, um, referrals from the jail? Um, or if the women themselves are at the point where they're getting out and they say, I need help, can they just come by? How does it work? 
um, the way that we got the participants that we have now, and we are, um, we, this is our first year, we just opened up in October. So we're uh, just working through all of our phases, but we work very closely with the supervision department that they each have a super supervising officer. And so their officer has to recommend them to the program because they know their, they know their case, they know if they're ready, uh, if they have a heart that wants to be a part of the program, it's a faith-based program. Uh, as I say, we're Jesus everything. So um, if it's something that they want to be a part of it, they they have to want to embrace that. If they're, we won't be a good fit for them if they don't want that. And then um, there's, they recommend them, that, and then the court has to say that it's okay. And so they come and the, and we work with them through the process. We do do applications; they're online. Um, so someone could fill out an application online. We do have a waiting list right now. How many women can, can you have in there at one time? Right now we have three. We have room to grow um, or we have a full basement, but we need to have that finished and we need to have a bathroom installed downstairs because right now there's only one bathroom that's available to them to use. So for us to have more women in the home, we've got to have the finances to get that bathroom and get that, that, that basement finished so that we can put some more people in. And then we, we hope to have six ladies at that point. And then hopefully we can grow later after that, maybe uh, get other sites. But right now it's kind of like a pilot year where we're working through this program. Did you, so, you know, what I'm hearing from you is you all went into this prison and as we all do sometimes, we, we go and, and we consider, we say, you know, we're doing good work. We're trying to help others. But you said, you know what, I need to be doing more. It's one thing for me because we go and then we leave and we go back to our lives and our homes and we leave them where they are. Um, but you say, how can I bring you out of this? How exactly. can I help you to grow? And that's what you're doing, like I see right there with Sasha. And when I heard her voice, when I look at her face and I just see the emotion that she expressed about this program and what it meant to her and what you all have done for her life. It just really just says it all and puts an exclamation point, exclamation point on why this program is important. Latrice, what I love about it is I, yesterday I was just writing out how many different women. We have over 12 trainers that come in in a week. That, that every week they come in and they work with the ladies and they're from all over the community. It's their, it's things they're experts at, things they're good at. So they're taking the skills that God's given them, their life experiences, and they're coming alongside these women. And then we have volunteers, not just the trainers, but also other volunteers that come in and work alongside the ladies. So when these women get out, they have, as we've said, you've got a small army behind you of people that are gonna support them so that they have a new community of people to help them to, to get into life and to find those safe places, those healthy places, those places where they're gonna thrive. Ladies, thank you both so much for sharing this with us. And it really is an important program because so many people like Sasha, all they need is a chance and help. And it's not, as we say, a handout, but a hand up and to help get them on the right path. And because we're all better when they are doing better as well. Mm -hmm. Sasha, I wish you the best of luck. And it, I really, it seems like you're on the right path and uh, hopefully you continue down that road. Donna, thank mm -hmm. you for sharing this with us. We are going to share this